known about all this forever. Uh, and like you say, they, they, they just got tired of be, even talking about it or being ridiculed for well, our, our technology has superseded our spiritual development. In other words, we're like little kids running around with a loaded gun. We don't know what we're doing. We have no idea the consequences of what's going on, how we're affecting the environment and all the ramifications from that. Because we're, we're also, every time we let off an atomic bomb, some of that seeps into other dimensions, other worlds. So we are really screwing up a lot of things, and uh, including the balance of this entire solar system. So we are really uh, very ignorant. We don't know what we're doing. So people should watch what they're saying and what they're thinking and how they're acting, because every little bit... I mean, I live at the edge of an area that becomes wilderness eventually here, but, you know, they, they've seen cougar and, and bear right near my driveway here. So uh, it's a very wild area, and yet I see beer cans and, you know, McDonald wrappers uh, beside the road when I'm driving to my, my cabin here, and it's disgusting. So uh, we don't have any respect for our environment, but it shows that we don't have any self-respect either because we have no respect to draw from. So it's really important. I wish that they'd have environmental science courses starting as little kids and have it all the way through into high school even and about the environment and how to be respectful of it because people aren't learning. They're, 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 they don't care. Speaking of spirituality, uh, do the Bigfoot people have a religious practice or particular sp spiritual belief? Yes, they do talk about praying more often. They talk about God. Uh, they're very spiritual beings. Uh, uh, one person asked the ancient ones, said, uh, uh, do you know anything about Jesus Christ? And the answer the person got back was, Oh, you mean the one who walks on water? And and they asked the, the ancient one, how did you know that? And the pers the ancient one said, well, my grandmother used to tell me about Jesus Christ uh, at bedtime, that uh, she learned this uh, when the, the red-haired people came up the Mississippi, and that's the people from Ireland. So, uh, you know, how they, they know a lot. Believe me, they know a lot about us, and there's a lot that they don't know, but it's a, there's a lot that they don't want to know because of how we treat our, our own people, you know, where they see uh, spouses killing spouses and spouses killing children and so on, and they, they know that we are, we, we're not all there. But we're mentally not all there because... We have an imbalance uh, with our with this lack of spirituality, and spirituality is not a religion or anything. It's just basic respect for all living things, for trees, for animals, and for people to have compassion towards them. Uh, probably, in, like the Dalai Lama, I, uh, he's one of my living heroes, uh, and uh, re having respect for other living people and and animals and, and the environment is is, you know, holds true. And the Native Americans knew this. This is something we could have learned from them. But we were too busy trying to destroy them to take over their land rather than learning from them. So right. we still have a lot to learn because of all the warring going on in the planet. I mean, we are really a dangerous breed of people. Absolutely. Uh, a friend of mine in Arkansas uh, had some uh, Bigfoot contact for about 18 months uh, while he was living there, and uh, I've actually visited him, and we took some uh, we took some apples from his tree in his front yard and put them at the edge of the woods. And uh, the next morning, when we we checked them, they had bite marks in them, you know, and they looked similar to human bite marks except the teeth were huge. I mean, they didn't look like sharp, you know, animal type teeth. They looked more. Almost like just a giant, giant version of human human teeth. Sure. Well, they, my landlady next door, even though she's down the hill from me, and and it's all woods here. I mean, really thick woods. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, planted an apple tree between her place and my cabin. 
Well, last year, 22 apples came out. They were bright red, and I saw them in the tree there. And and uh, uh, the one day she called me over and said, uh, did you see anybody around here today? And I said, no. I said, I've been home all day. Nobody's been here. She said, well, someone took every apple off our tree but two. You know, there's just her and her partner down there. And she said, have you, did you see anybody drive in and take the apples? I said, no, I would have heard them. So I knew right away it was a Sasquatch because he had been interacting with me just a few days before. So, you know, uh, uh, I, I laughed afterwards, you know, to myself because he left two apples. He wasn't going to be greedy about it. Right. He left <laughs> oh, each one of them an apple to sample, but he took to 20 out of the 22 because he needed something to eat. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I noticed this year there's, I can't see, but there's like a dozen apples down there, maybe 15. So I've been keeping an eye on them out the window to see if they all of a sudden disappear. So do they eat meat also, or are they just yes. vegetarians? Yes. Some people say, oh, no, they're just strict vegetarians. And that's not true at all. It okay. is not true. They're omnivorous like us, though they do eat a lot of vegetation and berries and stuff. Uh, they will uh, even, uh, you know, kill deer and make jerky, some of them. Uh, they'll, they'll catch and eat salmon, which they, they dry out in the sun. They used to smoke their own salmon because they, they know how to make fire. A lot of people said, oh, no, they don't know how to make fire. Well, how do they know? I'm, I'm saying this based on what they told me, not making stuff up. And uh, just because they assume stuff, that's fabricating stories and filling in all the blank spaces where there is, rather than finding out directly from them or observing fire, uh, them around fire, which they don't anymore. I asked them why not, and they said because the iron birds that go over, the people can find, see where there's fire, and uh, they'll send people in here. We don't want to be found. So right. these are things that are going on around us, and and uh, the average person, and certainly the researchers, uh, are maybe the most naive people that I met yeah. in that <laughs> regard. And and I don't mean this out of malice at all. I mean this simply that they have to educate themselves. Uh, first of all, take my book seriously and read it because it's becoming a classic already. I sell more books now uh, than I ever have before because people are waking up to uh, the idea. They're tired of the guy that's out there with a the gun and camera trying to exploit the Sasquatch. The, the, hey, the, the, those books are a dime a dozen. But the real information is through communication. That's the key. And I can't apologize because these beings are telepathic and have power beyond us. I realize it's a paradox that they are have animal-like bodies. They have the ability to kill a deer or a cow easily. But, you know, because they can eat the liver raw, well, the Native Americans often did that, too. So there's, you know, uh, eat the liver of a deer and so forth, even the heart at times. So these things are, and there's nothing new about them, but, you know, I'm trying to present this information based on what I've been told. So... Uh, I think it's very, very important that uh, uh, we stop this primitive approach to the research with guns and cameras because they know what you're doing anyway. Right. I have a, I have a, the reference I think that you were alluding to, and this is from from the uh, Vancouver uh, uh, Sasquatch event they had uh, September 26, and the guys. Uh, it, it says. Uh, how can you expect a creature that can't build a fire to fly a spaceship, grumbled Bill Miller of Illinois. Of course, how does he know they can't build a fire is what I want to know. Well, he doesn't. He just made up the stuff. He's, yeah. fa he's fabricating stuff based on something that's unscientific is what he's doing. Yeah. And yet, you know, this, this goes on, and I just feel sorry for people like that because, uh, first of all, I don't know that they can run a spaceship. That isn't what I'm saying. If they're being dropped off by ETs, they certainly didn't build a spaceship. Right. So 
that isn't what I'm saying, and I've never set, made that statement. So uh, 